Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm back with some more Haunted PS1 Demo Disc 2021. Um, let's start off the video with this bathroom again, okay? So I went on to Itch.io and I went into the forms and I took a look around and apparently this and this are both part of the password for the computer, which is why it says close when you enter either one of those. So we are going to go to the computer. We're going to enter both combinations of those words and see where that gets us. Also, I made a discovery that floor one is not the floor we are on. We are on ground floor, so there is three floors of games. So yeah, that was my bad. So A A, nope. A A R D V at R K 98. Access granted, baby. Ooh, we got a game with it. Anomalous Research Department. Got some SCP stuff here, man. Speed mail. Ooh. Grant termination. To whom it may concern. Due to breach of contract and failure to adhere to agreed upon terms, the United States Foundation, the United Science Foundation, regrets to inform you that funding for the Anomalous Research Department has been withdrawn. Please fill out and request the required early termination form and report it to. We lost our funding. A photo recovered from a trail cam. Oh, baby, this is a... Uh... Okay, where does this go from? I don't know what that is. Photo browser. Oh, is it downloading them on the computer? Yeah, these are some creepypasta images for sure. Very nice. Very spooky. All right, let's go back to mail. Your fantastic free backgrounds are here. Transport your computer desktop to eight magical locations from the depth of the ocean to the solitude of deep space. Okay, we got some backgrounds. Pale smiling figure standing in the doorway of an unknown location. Skinless creature of an unknown species appearing in some sort of factory. Desert motel incident. Acquired from police evidence of a double homicide. Video depicts. That's good. Oh, and there's a freaking movie. Photo of a girl with what appears to be a giant humanoid figure amongst the trees. This is a little creepy, guys. What is programs? Web space operator. Hold up here. I don't like that very much. No, thanks. What is this stuff? Yo, I don't think these backgrounds are, uh... Blinding light purifies all. Okay, alright. Uh... Looking good, looking good. Bathroom is closed off to us. Um, okay. There's a man 
there's a man walking he he's he's a walking he's a walking towards the door hey we got some money we got a bible we got we got the tv Let's come back um yep someone is someone is definitely there I can't, I can't do anything. I don't think I can do anything. Um, okay. This is very unnerving. Mm. No, he's... He's just hanging out by the sign. I don't think he caught, he means us any harm, right? He's just kind of like chilling. I don't like how grainy it is. Okay, there's gotta be something else we can do in this room. Oh, I can lock. This is good. That was just, that was an eyeball. There's an eyeball there. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's still dead. What am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to... That was a good one. Oh, okay. I got some mail. I got I got some mail. I I, I hear ya. I hear ya. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, looks good. This looks like uh, what I wanted to see. Alright, thank you for that. <laughs> Embrace his light.
Corpse pile. Of course it was you. Modus Interactive, Trevor Henderson. These guys. Listen, follow all these guys on Twitter. This was a nightmare. This was an absolute nightmare machine. That was that was awful in in the best possible way. That was terrible. Woo, baby. All right. Well, I think I shaved a few years off my life with that one. Let's go. Uh, let's go play a more traditional uh, horror demo. <clears throat> We're gonna go to floor one because, like I said, we are. Uh, we missed a whole. We missed a whole floor. All right. Hello. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. What is this? Uh, an outcry. An exploration of life in a doomed country under the wings of a vague menace. Oh my God! The content warnings. Jeez. Okay. All right, let's jump into an outcry. Man, I'm sorry. That that ARD, that computer is going to stick with me. That was good. That was really well done. Like, wow. Hey, buddy. Me and that guy are friends, I think. Okay. So it's like an it's like an RPG maker game. Typically they uh typically they have this kind of aspect ratio. All characters portrayed in the story are fictitious. Alright. Um I already saw the content warnings. But I guess for the audience, there you are. If any of these, uh, if you're sensitive to any of these things, maybe skip watching this one. Oh, wow. Okay. Is this going to be that heavy? Yeah, our, our, this is classic on it. This is classic RPG maker control scheme. Distant bird calls. Welcome the night. An itch. No matter how far you walk, you never feel like you're there. Standing up from their chair, the unnamed tosses a book to the ground. The itch intensifies. They forget. They need to scratch what is in their chest. Shoes get pulled over their heels. A jacket wrapped around their shape. The door is opened. They emerge. Now they are almost in your hands. Almost. Oh, we're the dude in the hallway. The unnamed, the unnamed turns towards the door, then back. They feel their pocket for desired items. Their cigarette, their lighter, their keys. Shit. They forgot all <laughs> they forgot all of it. Going to be a long night. They needed to get their mail downstairs. Their wrist is slender enough to do that without the keys. Their addiction is a different story. They need a lighter and cigarettes. Not the first time they've made the rounds looking for that. There's a lot of time to kill. Enough time to bum smokes off of every one of their neighbors. Couldn't we just literally go back in our apartment and just get it? Mr. Schmidt opens the door. A strong odor of burning cigarettes fills the air, overwhelming even to the unnamed trained nose. Schmidt's fingers are clamped around a smoke. From what the little of his apartment they can see through the crack, it is furnished entirely with natural wooden tables, cupboards, and bookshelves. You, at my door, at 10 p.m. Yes, me at your door. Oh, we got choices here. I thought you had retired. I've been retired for five years, you clown. Now what do you want? Not much doesn't cut it at this hour. I'm building a delicate vessel right now. Goodbye. The unnamed sighs. 
Conversations with Schmidt typically don't go differently than this one. Maybe Mrs. Eisen will give them what they need, or better yet, Anne. Okay, we're gonna be a knockin'. Miss Yamaz? I th they think that was her name. Honestly speaking, she is probably the neighbor they know least about. Their paths briefly cross from time to time, specifically when she is following her janitorial duties around the building. As the unnamed knocked, an exhausted voice calls. I'll be right there. Soon, Mrs. Yildrim, Yildrim opens the door. From behind her, the unnamed can faintly hear two young boys arguing. Good evening. Good evening, Mrs. Yildrim. That is almost my name. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Mrs. I, I'm still married. <clears throat> ah, off to an easy start. What did you want to talk about? Do we start with some idle conversation or we cut straight to the point? How have you been, madame? I can't complain. I guess I can't. I should be grateful, actually. Working is hard, but living could be worse. Life could be better, too. We should never ask for more than we are given. It leads to unhappiness to do so. If you believe so, madam. I don't. Really. No. I understand what you mean. A beat. If you are looking for a smoker, you have the wrong door. That's one more to the left. Or two. Get, got it. Thank you. Good night. Good night. We're doing a great job so far, guys. That takes us down. Do I go to this side of the apartment building? Yeah. Behind a door refurbished and polished to a sheen lies a dreary hole swallowed by whitewashed walls that flicker in perpetual TV static. This is Miss Ison's place. After a few seconds of silence, she approaches and opens the door. Her nightgown is dirty and reeks of cigarettes. Why, hello, who do we have here? The boy, but a girl, but a boy. Let me tell you, when you moved in here, XXXXX, you were half your current size. You are never going to be a girl like this. Let me tell you. I needed to ask. Yes? Got a cigarette to spare? Pardon, dear? I said. Did I hear that right? Oh. Haha. -ha. You can not be serious, dear. Ooh, no, 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 no. I certainly do not have any handouts to give to somebody as you. I thought you and I were on friendly terms, and here you are asking me again for a gift, giving naught in return, ever. How wrong I was. Pray tell, unnamed, when you, when, remind, whoa. You've actually cleaned up all those cigarettes you carelessly litter our courtyard with, but what else? They are still there. And who else but I is relied upon by you and everyone else to clean up after you? Leave it for- Oh my god. She's just- She's just going off. And she's, uh, real- You know what? Any which way, I cannot give you even a single cigarette until you have paid me for the ones that you've already taken. I could certainly spare more if you were to go to the tobacconist for me. But oh dear, it is closed three hours ago. You may just have to wait. Always a pleasure, Gertrude. Quite the opposite, dear. Pull your damn weight soon, and for heaven's sake, eat less. Good night, Mrs. Ison. Pardon? I said good night, Mrs. Ison. That is, miss to you. Exactly. Perfect! The unnamed has a sudden thought. They were told in therapy to be more assertive. People may have more to say if they press their request with them. People like Smith. Or they'll at least feel bothered enough to give them six. Okay. Do I go back to Schmidt? The unnamed quietly smiles to himself before their knuckles meet the door of their friend. Oh God, who? Coming. They sway back and forth on their heels, waiting for Anne Pirat, the self and other proclaimed poet extraordinaire. And here she is, tis I, your gal pal. Hi, Anne. How are you doing, girlfriend? Haven't seen you leave your apartment for anything but a smoke this past week. Can't be healthy. Ooh, I see. Haha, <laughs> well, you'll have to bear with my pleasantries first while they're hot. How are you? I'm a nervous wreck, Anne. Oh, geez. You'd keep that kind of thing down, usually. Is it that bad? Come on out with it, young lady. Uh, I feel bad in my body. It's the addiction, the itch. Locking myself out. Don't call me that, please.
Don't I know the feeling, baby? Remember, my offer still stands. It will stand for the foreseeable future, the short-term foreseeable future. Did what? Don't mention it. What offer? Just make sure to, you know, actually make use of it, okay? Oh dear. Deary. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Can I do anything? Hug you? <clears throat> hmm. Understood. Hey. Little one, trust me when I say this. It can get better. If I had a cigarette, I'd offer you one right now. I don't even have a lighter. Oh baby, I got a variable million of those. Suit yourself? Which one do you want? Uh, I mean... Could the Cool Skull Lighter have some negative consequences in the future? Let's go with the Trans Flag Lighter. Trans rights. Aha, a girl after my own heart. Here you are. So I don't think... I, I think the character... I don't know... I don't know if they're non-binary. It seems they don't like to be called a girl or boy. I'm, I'm a little confused about it, but they seem to be preferred to call be called they or the un, like the unnamed. I'm so sorry, dear. I don't have any to spare. The cupboard and cardboard boxes are bare. No tail in sight, no smoke and light, no hail to hail a flame to burn so bright. Who said that? An extraordinary poet. Schmidt's probably got what you need. I can smell his flat from the other end of the building. Tell you what, if you want to loop around a gossip or need help, just let me know. Thank you, Anne. See you later. Tee hee. All right, so we got to go back and ask Schmidt assertively for a cigarette. Because we got a lighter. A long drawn out groan is audible, coming closer. What the devil do you want now, boy? I failed to ask before, uh, may I have a cigarette? <laughs> sure, little man, have a whole pack. Knock yourself unconscious on that sweet, sweet perfume. That was gross. You know my cigarettes are self-rolled. I buy the tobacco from overseas. You'd better fucking appreciate it. Also, fall unconscious and sleep. And quit disturbing me while I'm building model ships. I is this really okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. I roll like a hundred of them every day. Knock yourself out. The unnamed got some cigarettes. Are they strong? All right, I'm going to try not to say that more than once in a video. Little buddy, they sure are. They'll knock the wind out of you. Now go have a pleasant smoke and then scoot the F off to bed. And make no more noise. That won't be possible. Locked myself out. Ooh, long night ahead, huh? Well, don't come crying to me about it. All right, we got our smokes. We got our lighter. Now we go out on the town. I hate this thing. The elevator stalls from time to time. They're always caught off guard by its arrival. Come on. So what's our, what's our game plan here if we're locked out? How are we gonna get back in our apartment? Building bulletin board. There are four notices. Which will they examine? Hmm, mm, rent is overdue for Yildrim. Dear postdoc delivery drivers, this fine building's door numbers start at the top and end at the bottom. If you already arrive after dark, do not attempt to use any light switches and do not shine your flashlights into any of the residents' windows. People are trying to sleep. If you decide to make your disgruntlement known through vandalism, I will not hesitate to call the police. Okay. 
All right. All right. Is the landlord over here? They catch it between their fingers and pull it out. Package arrived whilst they were sleeping. Due to occupant absence, it was left at the front door of the building. Oh no. The Vienna City Belt. A place of restriction, the construction of tenant belts and cheap liquor served to the hungry heads. People pass here only ever to get through or by. The unnamed should know. Their package is not before the main entrance, but there is something suspicious lying in the road that they should look at. The unnamed's eyes unfocus and stare off into the distance. Take a look around. What? Beneath the many wheels, there is a battered copy of Robert Coover's The Public Burning. The contents of their package, it is unsalvageable. F and hell. Well, that sucks. Piece of paper is completely receded into the street, dust to dust. Oh my god, it's terrifying. The Austrian right-wing party advertises full force in this district of the city. Like spores, these politivertizing posters sow the Cheshire's man's smile into the brains of the despondent. His eyes are unnatural steel blue, his features photoshopped to eternal youth. Every so often, the unnamed will linger before one of these posters and examine it. They can always they always contain these strong slogans in inexorable letters, statements like, Our money for our people. Let's take Vienna back. Against lies and corruptions. Vote the Freedom Party's Sebastian Scry for Chancellor 2017. You would think this might polarize, but the unnamed still isn't sure whether to vote against or for them. Okay. All right, take me out. Whoa, this cursor is real weird to control. Um, what? What? The U6 line is a rotten place full to the brim with people, most of them impoverished. They don't like to admit this to themselves, but the unnamed too is poor. They have tried time and time again to get a job to no avail. So they keep trying and trying and trying their curriculum vitae in their dead hands. Not impressive enough. Okay. Stole per Stein. Stumbling block. Substantive. A figurative hurdle to someone's thoughts, causing them to fail. An art piece by artist Gunter Demnig. Inscribed here are the names of people killed by a force of hate. Here lived a name, a human being, a person, a specificity, a span of time in history. Institutionalized or fled, then caught by the Nazis and murdered. Killed on a specific date. Not the only one on that day, in a specific place designed for killing. Their absence is palpable, here with this memorial, one among thousands. Okay. The door won't open without keys. Okay. They ring Anne's doorbell, door number 105. Who's there? Me, sorry, Anne. Ha, you're silly, did you try to smoke out on the street? Not quite. Come on in, you. I'll keep it on auto buzz from now on. Thanks, Anne. You're nice. Guess we're gonna go this way. Oh, it's like a backyard. Out in the fresh city air, car fumes dampened by the apartment walls encircling them. The unnamed thinks. Time to poison this place some more. They click the lighter, igniting it. Stone sparks firing at gas. The itch in their chest. The gasping maw makes grabby hands, clicks its jaw at the cigarette even before it is lit. Ah. 
The unnamed feels like they can focus a lot better now. Like their mind has traveled out of their body, like a carbon monoxide copy of them was sent to a safe place. Saved. 20 cigarettes, 15 slotch. Diminished now by one. They had better make the most of that. The unnamed watches their exhaust travel about like a restless stray. They snap out of their nicotine stupor as the sound of a distant outcry is carried to them. Its reverberations are felt far and wide, amplified by the surrounding walls. Um... Follow. Yes? I guess? I don't know. What is that? What is this thing? Something has burrowed itself deep in the unnamed's brain. A conviction, a steadiness. There is nothing more here. They should go talk to Anne. What is this? Who's this guy? Hey, little bird. Okay, I guess we go talk to Anne now. I don't. I. Hello. Hello. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Stop and linger for a spell. Huh? What? Never mind. Never mind, the newer mind. Blith indifference is unkind. Nameless, see the birdness he's on. The bricks on the bricks. What? What the? Nameless, better suck it up. Questions asked from the birdness. Ma, is this not the final straw? Should this not be well explained? What makes birdness so disdained? People don't hate birds. I'm sorry. You're just creeping me the hell out. Terrific is the birdness he think again and pray for thee. Terrific birdness. This is asinine. Insult to my injured heart. Apologize, you blight in sight. Look, I don't care about you right now. You glowing hallucination. I need to go back inside. What would nameless hearts and mouths yet defend from birdness beaks? What? Okay, 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 okay. Are you threatening me? Did you or did you not follow an outcry? What is an outcry? I did. Then get caught. KKK. What? All right, guys, I'm going to be honest. I have no freaking clue what this game is even about. Uh, not my cup of tea. Um... There are a lot of themes at play here, and uh, it's just not, uh, I mean, gosh, man. That, I, I don't know how close we were to the end of that demo, but I mean, it, it took up a substantial amount of time. So we're just going to go ahead and stop that one there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here as well, because we're at almost 40 minutes. So, um, again, uh, definitely I had an odd feel to it. I wouldn't call it a horror game unless it gets substantially more, um, you know, horror related uh as it went on but um I, I don't really know how i feel about that one so um yeah we will go ahead and end this here and i will pick up next time with more games this is gonna this is gonna be um a longer series than i thought if these demos are as long as they have been um most of them have been like 15 to 20 minutes which means i can usually get one or two in a video well i guess at least two in a video maybe three if i start doing longer videos on this but we'll have to see what cards hold for that i hope you guys are enjoying watching me play through this if you are 
Consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. I upload content like this all the time, and I will see you back very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.